Hello, I'm Joni Ernst. I'm Iowa's junior senator, and I am joined today by my good friend Tango Charlie, Senator Colonel. Tom, Tom Colonel. <laughs> Senator Tom Carper of Delaware. Great and to be with you. Thank you so thank much. You. Um, today, I think we'll we'll go down memory lane a little bit and and share our thoughts about what happened on 9/11, mm -hmm. um, an important time for us to remember. Mm -hmm. So. Tango Charlie, if you wouldn't mind, just maybe tell me where you were yeah, uh, when you. that happened. And well, thanks, your thanks thoughts. very much for inviting me to, to join yeah, on a special pleasure. day. Mm -hmm. I, um, I was riding on a train, I'd go back and forth on a train a lot, uh, mm -hmm. as Joe Biden did, Bill Roth before them, Mike mm -hmm. Castle. And uh, we live in Delaware, and, and I was 15 years ago on the train coming to DC, down around Baltimore, and doing what I call day ahead call with my staff. They were in DC and briefing me on the day that lie ahead. And uh, about halfway through our conversation, uh, someone said, uh, on my staff, mm -hmm. uh, a plane has flown into the uh, World Trade mm -hmm. Center. And there, earlier, a, a year or two earlier, had been a small plane that had been uh, done mm -hmm. something like that and flown mm -hmm. into a building. I thought, oh, some pilot, some crazy pilot that did, uh, got, was flying where they should not have been. And it, as it turned out, it, it, uh, I said, well, that's too bad. And we finished our call, mm -hmm. and about uh, 15 minutes later, they called back and said, uh, the uh, uh, another plane has flown oh, into the course. other World Trade Center, and right then we knew that uh, that the world had changed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got off the train, the Union Station, that morning, and uh, you could hear uh, the airplanes they had. We'd uh, launched mm -hmm. uh, aircraft uh, uh, to do air cover, and you could hear the jets flying up in the uh, the uh, the air. It turned out one of the uh, the aircrafts and one didn't make it to uh, to its target, but uh, crashed in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. in a farm field. It was apparently headed for the Capitol. But they uh, had everybody leave the Capitol, and I c literally came up uh, uh, Delaware Avenue, heading mm -hmm. toward the Capitol, mm -hmm. and the, um, the, you know, the planes, and then off in the distance, we heard a loud explosion, and I think it was a fuel depot going up at the Pentagon, mm -hmm. following the crash there. And uh, that was, uh, and I came into the Hart Building, my office in the Hart Building, everybody was running out. I went in and watched uh, television for a while just to see mm -hmm. what was going on. And uh, at the end of the day, we ended the day of incredible turmoil and angst and anguish uh, with a, um, um, a prayer vigil mm -hmm. on the steps of the Capitol. Mm -hmm. Democrats and Republicans, arm in arm, uh, praying. And um, I thought to myself, what a great way to respond for our nation to set an example mm -hmm. uh, from many one That's great. and uh, right. the uh, we need that we need to recapture that mm -hmm. spirit right absolutely and yeah. and I know you served in the Navy um, why I call you Tango Charlie mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about about that experience too? just your service mm -hmm. um, because I think we saw a surge of, of pride in America uh, following that uh, terrible terrible day I think our enemies, those that that did this terrible, terrible incident, uh, those that orchestrated it, really wanted to tear America apart. Mm -hmm. But we ended up coming together, I think, in a, a unifying manner that maybe perhaps they had seen that during World War II. Mm -hmm. too. I, think, I think what the Taliban and mm -hmm. Al Qaeda wanted to do was to, as you say, pull us apart mm -hmm. and turn us against one another. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what a lot of our enemies have wanted mm -hmm. to do over the years. That's what they want to do right now. Right. But we can't let them do that. I was a Naval Flight Officer, mm -hmm. P-3 Aircraft Mission Commander later on. Mm -hmm. We flew a lot of missions in Southeast Asia in my squadron. Mm -hmm. So land-based air aircraft, the P-3, would fly 10 and 12 hour missions. Mm -hmm. Surveillance missions off the coast of Vietnam and, mm -hmm. and Cambodia were looking for little infiltrator trawlers mm -hmm. trying to get in and mm -hmm. resupply the Viet Cong, uh, um, and we weren't doing that. We would just chase Soviet mm -hmm. nuclear submarines all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, did that for uh, off and on for five mm -hmm. years. And when that was over, retired, resigned, resigned from my regular commission, took a reserve commission, mm -hmm. and moved to Delaware, yeah. and, uh, and enrolled mm -hmm. in business school there, and up at Willow Grove Naval Air Station, mm -hmm. like an hour and a half away north of Philadelphia. They uh, they were just getting Navy P3 airplanes mm -hmm. to replace the old mm -hmm. P2s. And I showed up mm -hmm. uh, about a week after I got to Delaware, and I said, mm -hmm. one weekend, I said, I, uh, I'm a P3 aircraft mission commander. Mm -hmm. And they said, Wait, you're just what we've been looking for. So they let me join them, and mm -hmm. I flew with them for 18 years. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I love that. And How about and you? Tell the us pride. about it. Well, uh, thank you. Your um, I, I joined the service uh, after a trip to Ukraine. I uh, just saw that... In Ukraine at that time, part of the Soviet Union, Americans experienced such freedom and opportunity. And I thought, I'm not, not satisfied just enjoying those liberties that I have. Mm -hmm. I need to defend those. And mm -hmm. so I joined Army ROTC in 
Did you go um, to the Ukraine in college? In college? Yes, okay. between my freshman and sophomore year. Why did you go year. to Ukraine? What took you there? It was an agricultural exchange. Mm. But the people in Ukraine and the That's Soviet right, you're from Union, Iowa. from Iowa, <laughs> yes. They have farms. We have farms in Delaware. Too. We do. Chickens. Chickens. Com we a lot have chickens of them. in common. Yes. A lot. Yeah. Uh, but they just weren't able to experience the same types of opportunities that we do in the United States. Mm. And I thought it was important to defend that. And so when September 11th happened, um, we were just moving into our home in Iowa. My husband served in the Army for 28 years, and wow. he had just retired. So I remember being in the basement, and my neighbor called, and she said, Joni, you need to see what's on television. Mm. So I ran and turned the TV on, and that's when we saw the, the second plane mm. then was, was hitting uh, the World Trade Center. And not long after that, the phone rang again. I thought maybe it's another neighbor calling, but it was the Iowa Army National Guard. They were calling, they were doing a 100% notification and check mm -hmm. to find out where we were. Mm. They didn't know what was going on. I don't think any of us understood what mm -hmm. was happening. And they just needed to make sure they could get a hold of us mm -hmm. if we were to be called up for protection of whatever assets in the state of Iowa. So that then triggered uh, uh, many, many years of Iowa National Guard involvement overseas in the war on terror. But again, I think the actions on that day, we had enemies that wanted to tear us apart and that didn't happen. We saw such unity. We saw flags going up all over our communities. Um, it, well, was it was remarkable. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. It was remarkable, yeah. the strength and resolve we had uh, a number of uh, people who were from Delaware, whose families were from Delaware, who were on the airplanes and mm -hmm. they crashed. Mm -hmm. And uh, in most cases, as, uh, not as passengers, but as crew members. Right. And the, uh, we had uh, memorial services in our state. Mm -hmm. And we had one fellow uh, from Newark, Delaware, where the University of Delaware is, who was a uh, petty officer, second class, mm -hmm. Navy weatherman, mm -hmm. serving in the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. Can you think of a safer job? Wow. In, in the uh, Pentagon. Mm -hmm. Weatherman. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, he died. He did in the crash. But we we would have these memorial services mm -hmm. up and down our state, and I would go to those and oftentimes lead people in reciting the twenty third Psalm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so moving, mm -hmm. so moving, very and, moving, yeah. very moving. And and I think it's just important that we um, understand we won't forget September eleventh. We won't forget those wonderful Americans that went to their jobs that morning and, and didn't return home, we won't forget them and we certainly won't forget those servicemen that have given their life on the war on terror as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a nation that took on the greatest mm -hmm. nation in the world, the Brits, mm -hmm. beat them not once, War of Independence again in 1812. Mm -hmm. We uh, survived the Civil War, we survived the Great Depression, won World War I, World War II, the Cold War. Mm -hmm. We can get through all that. We can get through Absolutely. this. But the key, as you say, uh, mm -hmm. from many one, mm -hmm. from, from many, many one, one to be united. That's it. United. Thanks so much. Tango Charlie, thank you. Colonel. Thank you very much. As you much. were. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it thank a you. lot.